Hi, this is Anthony Grino with a video review on Firefox 23. Mozilla updates its Firefox internet browser approximately once every six weeks, and the latest Firefox 23 version was released on August 6, 2013. So let's see what's new in Firefox 23. Uh, first off, if you notice in the opening slide, Firefox has an updated um, logo. The changes are very subtle, and I'll show you in a moment uh, what the new logo looks like. Uh, this new Firefox update comes with increased security via mixed content blocking and we'll cover this topic in a little, little more detail in a moment. It has improved um, the uh, about memory uh, interface um, and um, I'll also show this to you in a moment. Some preferences were removed and reset to defaults like the enable JavaScript, load images properly and always show tab bar and I will also cover this a little, in a little more detail shortly. Firefox users uh, can now switch to a new search provider across the entire browser, but there's much more to it as well. The sharing and social API feature that was introduced in Firefox 17 in November, 23, uh, November 2012 rather, uh, has been enhanced and will now be, be available to all web developers. Uh, in the past, it included Facebook, Clix, Mixi, and MSN Now, so basically it makes the social sharing much easier without having to leave the website and um, uh, the, uh, the website that you're on. Um, there were some developer changes too, uh, which I will not discuss in this review because I want to mainly focus on changes that affect regular Firefox users. Uh, and finally, there were over 600 bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities implemented in Firefox 23. And uh, to review all these changes or bug fixes, uh, you can visit the bug list page and um, you'll find the description or rather the link in the description section of this YouTube video. So this is what the new Firefox uh, logo looks like. Uh, if you will look closely, uh, you will see some subtle changes. For example, this glossy uh, little globe at the top uh, has been removed, or rather the gloss has been removed. And if you notice the Firefox tail, there are a lot of, it's, it's, uh, it's much more simplistic. Um, as you can see here, there was much more detail to it and stuff. Um, and a few other changes as well, but you know, this is what the new Firefox logo uh, looks like. Uh, in terms of um, increased security due to mixed content blocking, um, it is designed to basically protect users from uh, men in the middle attacks and eavesdroppers when you're visiting secure HTTPS web pages. And uh, this tool stops uh, secure HTTPS pages from loading additional content via unencrypted HTTP, which is essentially mixed content. Um, so you'll basically see this gray shield up top in the address bar if you do visit that uh, web page. And um, so this is how it works. Uh, when a visitor actually uh, you know, visits um, the secure HD page um, with a block mixed active content, um, they will see this uh, shield. And um, if the user clicks on that shield, they will see an option to learn more, um, more about uh, the vulnerabilities. Uh, and um, other options would be to keep blocking, and if you drop this down, you will see another option to disable protection on this web page. Uh, if you need to allow the mixed content to be displayed, uh, you can choose disable uh, protection on this page, and uh, you will then see this little um, orange warning identity icon up top in the address bar. Uh, to basically uh, remind users that insecure content is being displayed. And if you click on this warning identity icon, you'll basically get more information uh, on what exactly is happening. Now, the about memory user interface, this is what the old interface looked like in Firefox 22. And uh, this is what the new interface um, looks like in Firefox 23. As you can see, uh, there are these um, um, options displayed up top to measure and uh, save memory as well as uh, you know save reports and uh, if you click on this measure button uh, you will see that the memory allocation um, is displayed and if you click on this minimize uh, memory usage button it will run a, a memory minim uh, minimization process you can also use this uh, button right here that says measure and save to save reports to your desktop. Uh, next up are preference changes that I talked about earlier. Um, as I mentioned earlier, under the contact um, tab of, uh, under the options menu, uh, 
uh, this is what it looked like in Firefox 22. As you can see, there are these two options that say load images automatically and enable JavaScript. Well, those two preferences have been changed or rather removed from here and uh, defaulted. Uh, so this is what it looks like in Firefox 23. As you can see, it's no longer there. It's just uh, this one here. But um, I personally don't like uh, this change. Uh, I think they should have left it there. Um, however, you can restore those options by you know using the about colon config function uh, feature, but that's for a separate video. Um, similarly, another preference that has been removed is the always show the taskbar under the tabs um, tab. And uh, this is what it looks like in Firefox 23. As you can see, that option has been removed. Um, what this option enabled was to hide the, um, the tab bar, which is this one right up top. If you were using just one tab, um, you know, this is what it would look like uh, if you had unchecked that um, box. Next is the change to the search providers. As you know, you can use the address bar in Firefox or the search bar uh, to search uh, you know, for stuff on the internet uh, using Firefox. In Firefox 22, um, you could choose different uh, search engines for the browser um, address bar and the search bar. Um, so, For example, you could set the address bar uh, to use Google and the search bar uh, to use Bing. Uh, with Firefox 23, the search um, has been unified, which means you know both the address bar and the search bar will use the same search provider that you choose. Some people may find this a little uh, uh, you know, disappointing, but uh, um, I don't think it's going to be uh, much of a problem for me, really. In terms of uh, overall performance, comparing Firefox 23 to 22, uh, there was not much improvement based on the Peacekeeper benchmark uh, browser test that I ran. Uh, Google Chrome still outperforms, um, um, you know, Firefox overall, as you can see from the results. Uh, one area that uh, Firefox performed better than Chrome is the HTML5 capabilities. It scored six um, over seven, as opposed to four over seven uh, on Google Chrome. Some of my add-ons were not compatible with the latest version, and um, but Firefox will, um, you know, automatically check for updated add-ons as as and when they become available. Uh, one thing you may want to do after updating your browser is uh, check to see if the plugins, um, you know, up to date because they can slow down your browser. Uh, to do so, you basically click the favicon. Um, Firefox favicon icon at the top right and then choose uh, add-ons and then basically click on this link that reads uh, uh, check to see if plugins are up to date uh, and once you click on that um, link you'll be brought to this page where you can check um, whether your plugins are up to date or not and if they're not then you'll probably uh, you know you'll have this little button here that says um, you know update needed you then basically just click that and then follow the instructions um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Mozilla updates the Firefox browser approximately once every six weeks. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about these updates uh, and see what uh, you know Firefox has done in, over the past uh, um, uh, past uh, app updates in uh, 2013, you know you can um, basically click the link in the description section of this uh, YouTube video. And uh, if you found this video useful, you know give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I uh, hope you found this uh, video useful. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, as always, you know, you can leave them in the comment section and uh, thank you.